Just about all major sporting events, leagues and competitions around the world have been either postponed, cancelled or suspended due to the current COVID-19 coronavirus pandemic. Football in St. Kitsinibis is no exception. And even before the Federation recorded its first case of the coronavirus, the St. Kitts Nevis Football Association, the SKNFA, took a decision to suspend all competition as it continues to monitor the current health crisis. But even though there is no football action ongoing, we would like to take some time to look at the performances of each team in the SKNFA's leading competition, the Premier League, to see how each of the 12 teams have performed thus far. At the time of the suspension, the league had already completed the first round of football and were two matches into round two. In a two-round season, that's more than enough to assess the fortunes of the teams. Which teams will make it to the playoffs, the ones that are likely candidates for relegation and those who stand a chance of claiming the coveted Premier League title. In our broadcasts, we'll provide analysis of each of the teams and review past interviews with coaches and players. We'll start this report with a team that were crowned the most recent champions of the league and the current leaders in the point standings, Rams Village Superstars. Having won the 2018 Premier League title, Village were looking for a repeat and may have well beaten on their way to doing just that. They finished the regular season miles ahead of their nearest competitor and were primed to do well in the playoffs before the league was unfortunately suspended and eventually cancelled. They started this new season with a sense of purpose despite a sluggish start, brushing aside teams effortlessly and putting title contenders to the sword. The boys from West Bastyr were ready to retain their title, a motivation coach Stephen Clark speaks to in a post-match interview during round one of the season. Motivation can go different ways, <coughs> as you see. Um, sometimes they just rotate the team, rotate the players then. So each player come in now, well, they got keep the standard that the team have. If you want to be in the squad, you got to play to keep your squad. So you just more like creating competition between the players them. You don't drop the level. Sports reporter and football analyst LaShawn Dixon describes the Village's run in the first round so far during a recent edition of SK Newsline's web series, SKN Football Weekly. The form they have shown um, through periods of the season um, is, is what um, you would want to be if you want to to, to become to be um, in the championship talk from the end of the season. Um, they started hot, red hot. They were on 10 out of 10, 30 points from 30. They, they, they looked invincible. It seemed Village would be unstoppable this season after they defeated Flow for GK and Rockets 1-0 in one of the most anticipated matches of the season. Up until that point, Keon were yet to lose a match. And he could become a hero winning the game. Here he is. He steps up. And he goes at goal. Goalkeeper moving to his right. A lovely penalty all along the ground into the left-hand corner. And uh, Rams Village superstars going up 1-0 after 6 minutes 54 seconds in the second half. I, I thought this game was a little, a little below the car, below the standard than the previous um, game that they set. But luckily... We came out with a clean sheet. But then the tables began turning on Village. In another most recent encounter, Village took on their fierce rivals, Sol Allen Auto Supplies Connery FC. These two teams have a competitive history, and this one would be no exception. But at that point, Village were dealing with a red hot Connery, who were yet to lose a match since the start of 2020. Connery made sure that record stayed intact with a 2 1 win. Well, here's Connery. Getting behind the defense could be a goal. It is. It's going to be a goal. A, yes, a beautiful goal, goal indeed. A beautiful goal by Errol. Absolutely beautiful. As, as Ak finds space in him. Back up. As he finds back and red. Ak Mitchell found himself in some space and the ball f eventually was, was tapped into the back of the net um, and the goal line. It's two goals to nil to Solar and not to Connery. Rams very superstars. And I, I think they're shell shock at this moment. <laughs> it's a very good goal indeed. So it was a good game, and I mean, we didn't get it right. I mean, we get a goal, but yeah, you know, we got the better team win. LaShawn believes that victory was a wake-up call for Village. They looked invincible until they came up to against Connery, where they dropped their first points, and then the following week, they dropped the, 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 another set of points. A wake-up call it was indeed, as the following week they lost their second match of the season when they fell to St. Peter's FC. Yes, and Simmons picks up the ball. Oh, and oh, the oh, a calling! Oh. A calling shot! Two of the four points! A beast is a over the top! And it's 3-2! Oh. 
good to St. Peter's and Simmons, number seven for St. Peter's. With one of the goals of the season, it's 3 2 to St. Peter's. It would be interesting to see how Village will fare in round two. Despite Connery FC breathing down their neck in, in the league table, they will still be viewed as the team to beat this season for the Premier League title. Thank you.